All right, guys, I got the purple sack out. So what does that mean? That means I went to the LCS, grabbed me some junk silver. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I got. All right, guys, welcome back. Man, I am so happy that I got to go and see my LCS today. It has been far too long before I got to go back there and do some shopping. Normally, I would go in and I would just go pick out my silver. But under these circumstances, you know, you kind of have to pick. He has to pick and choose what we can get simply because of the high demand that is going on right now. He has to pick and choose uh, what's going out because he doesn't want to get picked dry. And I can't blame him on that because he has a business model that he has to keep going, that he has to uh, keep the income flowing in, if you know what I mean. So, yes, he is accumulating silver. People are selling silver and people are buying silver. But right now, there's more people wanting silver in higher demand than what he can uh, keep up with, if you know what I mean. He can't bring in silver fast enough for people to purchase what he has or to want to purchase what he has. So keep that in mind whenever you are uh, getting upset, whenever you are uh, on edge about not being able to get what you want for the prices that you want. Guys, it's a seller's market right now. I mean, it really is. So I kind of changed my thought press process on it because I know the struggle. The struggle is real. He explained it to me in great detail today, guys. And I asked him personally, I said, hey, look, man, I said, I'm trying to get my mix closer to 50 50 on gold and silver. What would you do? He's he specifically told me he said, hey, look, what I'm buying right now from my personal uh, stack I'm buying silver. And I asked him why. And he said, because this is the same way that it was the last time the markets got like this. He said, it's the exact same thing going forward. He said, you were right. You're on the money as far as that goes. This is the exact same way. Only the only difference is, is he said, the gold to silver ratio is at all time highs. And he said he's never seen it like this. And he told me flat out, he said, hey, look, if you have money to buy gold and you want gold, buy it. He said, but the best buy right now, the best decision is silver. And so I took his word for it. I was going to grab some uh, a half gold eagle, but instead I made another purchase and I will give that video to you. I'm going to leave you a photo right there of what I did purchase and you may not like it, but hey, <laughs> it's it's more weight to the stack. So stay tuned for that video, but let's get into what I bought today. So what I got today is I got, and I keep all my constitutional silver in here and then I'll, at the end of the year, I'll dump it in my box. And so what I also got, What I also got was some rosies and well, it was some dimes. So I know there's a good mixture of rosies in here, which I don't have a lot of. And there's $27 face of quarters and 17 face of dimes. So let's get into it. Let's see what I got. And I can see right now that there is an SLQ in here. So I am happy about that because me personally, that's my favorite design along with the uh along with the mercury dime so yeah there's a 27 right there it's a little ugly but hey man it's junk silver dude it's okay it's okay to be ugly when you're junk silver what's this right here here's another slq that one is slicked out but hey it's all right man i love the junk silver design of the slq it really is something nice let's see what else. there's another one right there so there's another SLQ right there. Let's see, there's another one right there. There's another one, or maybe that was the previous one. There's another one right there. So yeah, if I can pick out SLQs, 
I would definitely pick out the dated ones, unlike the slicked out ones personally. But right now, guys, pickings are slim, if you know what I mean. They really are. So you get what you get almost whenever you're going through this stuff. Oh, man. Is that an old barber right there? Sure is. 1892 barber right there. So, yep. I didn't get to pick any of it out. Normally, I pick out the better dates, the best stuff that I can get. But like I said, guys, whenever you're... Uh, in a, in a time like today, right now, you get what you can get, to be honest with you. So, oh, there's another one. 1809 or 1808 or 1908. Who knows? I might do a gob with those. You never know. And I'll go through them. Later on, check for dates and whatnot. All right, let's see what we got on these dimes. There's a Merc. There's another Merc, mother Merc. So yeah, me personally, guys, I love the Mercs. They are beautiful designs. And I'm wondering if there's any Barber dimes in here, too. like it's all mercs and rosies which is cool man that's fine i have no problem with it and i will go through them and double check you know check and see if i got any uh key dates or or mint marks or anything like that and i'll pick those out to the side you know but anyway guys that's 44 dollars face value of junk silver and the way that you calculate that is, is, is you take the $44 of face value that I have in here and you multiply that by 0.715 and that's going to give you your troy ounces of silver. Okay. So that comes out to $31, I mean, 31 ounces of silver in this pile right here. So no matter what, if I melt all this stuff down right here, that gives me 31 ounces of pure silver. That's not including the copper content. That's extracting the copper content uh, from, from the calculation. So that's the easiest way to remember is take count up all the face value, right? You multiply that times 0.715, and that's going to give you your troy ounces. Now, if you want to figure out what you're paying for junk silver, you take the current spot price, right? Say it's 14 something dollars an ounce. I mean, uh an ounce you times that by 0.715 and that's going to give you your face value for spot okay and i will once again leave that in the description below so you guys can de um decipher that and memorize it because you need to memorize that whenever you're buying junk silver because a lot of people get confused by that you know that they, they just somehow it doesn't click so I will say that one more time. Okay, so you take your junk silver face value, you times that by 0.715, that gives you your troy ounces of silver, okay? Now, if you wanna figure out your price for junk silver, you take spot price, the current spot price, and you times that by 0.715, that's gonna give you the price that you should pay for junk silver at the current market value and typically most lcs's will sell it for 50 cents over but right now we're not in that situation but i got a great deal on this stuff today guys i'm extremely happy with that deal i will take it any day of the week so that's gonna do it for today guys remember be safe out there be careful take care of your loved ones and keep grinding on your stack